also press control S to say it. Okay. Um, you want to align the name tags to the ports. So if I was in port 1, this is right, but if I was in port 2, this isn't right. Sure. So you'd hit swap and save it if, uh, if I wasn't in the right one. Yep. And then to change the cameras around, you press F2, which is the opposite. Yep. That makes sense. Basically, you just want to go F1, F2, mm -hmm. and then press F5 when a game finishes. Easy. So these are the main ones to watch out for. Yeah. Alright, this matchup I'm actually really interested in. KP Kaiser versus McLeod. Because McLeod has been getting a lot better recently. In fact, um, I haven't told anybody, but McLeod beat me in a set last week at EVAC. It wasn't a tournament set or anything, but it was just like a... What up? <laughs> a friendly set. Hey. Hey, Will D. So, yeah, interesting matchup. I think McLeod can actually take this. I think he did last time. Did he? Can't remember. It was it was like the round robin tournament where like five people rocked up. Uh -huh. Yeah, but all of all of South Australia is getting better, so I'm really interested to see who's going to win this. Yeah, it's definitely like that middle PR sec or middle to top PR section where it's just like a big yep. upset fest. Yeah, pretty much. Which is cool. The same with this tournament. One to six seed can all take it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not a guaranteed win for me or Muscat anymore. Yep. Which is very exciting. McLeod can even win this entire tournament. Caleb can win this tournament if he gets to Brands. He is going to win the tournament. He will win the tournament, of course. But yeah, keen for this matchup. McLeod, he's a very technical player. He researches a lot of stuff. He knows like all the frame data. He knows almost every situation, what to do, what he can be punished, what can't be punished. He's definitely option. probably one of the, the best. But he's playing Luigi, so. Yeah, not a fan. <sighs> This is, this is horrible. I was expecting a good matchup today. Uh, I like commentating matches with Peaching. It's actually talk about, like, things rather than just like, oh wow, he did the move. Yeah, we'll probably be expecting a lot of you know, wave dash down smashes from Luigi. Wave dash jab grabs. Nair out of combos. The classics. Yeah. Yeah, all the obvious stuff makes sense, but I have no idea what the game plan is or... Yeah, I I guess I'm curious what, why McLeod is picking Luigi, because I thought he switched to Peach. Yeah, I think, he, I think he said that he was looking, his Peach was feeling off, well, I don't know. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Hi, Donut. I, Thanks for subscribing, man. I was really wanting McLeod to go for a fight this time, but I wanted the rematch with him. Yeah. But he can still take... Kaiser with Luigi. Luigi, a matchup that nobody knows, nobody will learn, so he could choose his way up. I guess to me, but like this fact that this matchup seems bad, right? Because you just shoot the gun and then. Yeah, this is Luigi's worst matchup, I think, I believe. It's either Falco or Peach, both matchups. Moth? Moth? I'm not sure. I think Peach and Falco are the ones I hear right. about the most. Because Falco. Shoot the gun, you stop the wave dash yeah, in. Yeah. You just uh, back air up to it and Luigi has no way to get in. And um, Falco obviously has a ability to combo Luigi better than most other characters can. Yeah. So it's not that safe for Luigi to get hit. Oh, sure, you got extended names now. Yeah, that's right. Oh, for anybody new in the chat, we are running a modified rule set today. We have FD as a counter pick and Frozen Pokemon Stadium as a starter instead. We're running a modified hacks money rule set. All the salty spacey. Maybe is this bad is why McLeod has switched to Luigi. Yeah, maybe. Want to play exactly. Rule set. You don't get FD to start off with anymore. Because Kai knows that he doesn't want to get like upset by a Peach. Was like, fuck you, Peach. Exactly. Don't, don't get FD anymore. But uh, Pokemon Stadium is probably also equally bad, I think, for Luigi maybe. Oh yeah, Luigi. I'm, I have no idea. Neither do I, but, um... Oh, oh, because FD isn't even good for Luigi. So I guess for this matchup, it doesn't matter as much. I think this matchup, it doesn't matter where you go. Falco just wins it straight up. Yeah. But McLeod has some tricks. Yeah. K Kaiser probably doesn't know all these tricks, so you can always do something. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be enough. I feel like you just shoot the gun. We'll I don't know. We'll see. Kaiser is a very, very fast Falco. He likes to move around a lot, very strong platform movement, very good laser game. Let's see if it can uh, keep this Luigi at bay. I think the top platforms are really good for him. Kaiser already starting out strong yep. with the lasers. It begins. Laser back airs, Luigi finding it difficult to get in. Gets a small hit in, but nothing big off of it. 
Kaiser keeps this up for the entire set, it should be alright. Luigi trying to find a way in. He's only managed to find hits with the down B so yeah. far. Kaiser should, uh, should be a bit more prepared for those. Good lasers. The crowd just doesn't want to approach now at this point. Oh no, this could Can be he get the cheese. Oh shit. Oh, and he, he has the ledge? The edge oh, he gets the stock! The cloud is a god! So he goes from two down Bs into a stock. That's what you need, I guess. Kaiser cleans it up very quickly. Back to the laser game. I think if Kaiser doesn't switch up his game plan too much, he should win this Yeah, set. yeah, just... But it always... It's always hard to keep a game plan going for the entire set because the opponent adapts, so you want to adapt back. But you should always... If you're the better character, you should try to force the opponent to play your game yeah. instead of adapting for him. That's where the gun comes in really handy, Kaiser I guess. Kaiser quickly takes a stock, actually. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Up to the top platform. Luigi has to approach now, since he's behind. Kaiser gonna just keep up there, keep being evasive, not look for any scraps that aren't at that team. Yeah, he's definitely not going in very much. He just exactly. picks, his, picks his spots really well. Because he knows that if Luigi gets one big hit on him, he could lose the stock, just like first stock. Luigi has a very strong punish game, stronger than a lot of people give him credit for. Yeah. Him. Especially yeah. against the spaces. Yeah, exactly, spaces. And he takes the stock from one... This game is really even for how much Kai's winning the neutral. Yeah, yeah. Kai's is just getting clipped by random hits. He's, like, he's playing the neutral really safely, but McLeod can just sneak in there with that down smash, for example, and do a lot of percent. Kaiser's actually behind now. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, he's with the whole two stocks just like winning every exchange. Cloud finding more, more and more ways to get in until the game goes on. Oh, that's cool. And he actually takes the stock. Alright. Cloud in the lead. Let's see how Kaiser wants to take the stock. Might have to. I think if he keeps his game plan up, should be fine. Because he went to the top platform, that stock where he lost. Yeah. And that was very different from what his. Um, Initial plan was just stay on the side flat. Oh, missed the edge guard. Hard to get there. Gets the laser forward smash though, and it's back to even. Okay, so as long as he doesn't get cheese, I guess. Yeah, take the top platform. Luigi wahooing down in the bottom. Kaiser does not want any of that action. Kaiser gets yahooed, but Crash cancels it perfectly. And this could be. Nice, that's a good combo. Back to ledge. Kaiser looking for some sort of area or some sort of area. Spot dodge, spam gets him. Kind of abandoning his game plan a little bit, but he's in an edge guard situation. Luigi, notoriously bad recovery. I don't know, McLeod makes his edge guard seem pretty good. Like, he gets back quite a lot. I've noticed that. He has a, he has a couple tricks he can do. Yeah. Also, Luigi has humongous magnet hands. As in, you can up be very far away from the stage and still make it. Oh, oh just makes just it back. Misses. That was so unfortunate. Really good angle. That's a shit way to end, but uh. misses the ledge dash. Unfortunate. Kaiser takes game one. Up one nil. The save button. Yeah. Up one nil, and I'm not sure if this is actually a best of five or a best of God knows. three. Oh, we're about to find out. So, what stage does uh, McLeod want to go to? You reckon? <laughs> this is Peach. I actually, I could talk about this stuff. Yeah. God, uh... What does Luigi want? Fountain of Dreams? I literally have no, no idea. I just go to Fountain or Yoshi, surely. Just try to... Try to end Falco's stock really early. Yeah, I think... Get some cheese. Yoshi's is always just like the Falco stage, right? So I don't know. If it is. It is. But you can always get some cheese in on that stage. Because it's so true. small. Oh, nice. Um, Bow Bombs is actually not a counter pick in this tournament rule set. I tried to argue for it. <laughs> but... The TOs were just, you know, just not having any of it. Yeah, hacked is boring. Oh, McLeod actually playing Peach now. Yeah, he should have done this. Or like, I mean, in my opinion, he should have done this from the start. Got a DI in front for that up throw. Missed the edge guard actually. Unlike him. But still gets the grab. Still in an edge guard situation. Kaiser with a straightforward angle. McLeod not prepared for that at all. And now Kaiser is in the neutral advantage. McLeod makes it back with the that. Okay, so obviously on this stage, one grab should be death. Yep. Not in the lead. Falco does have a good punish game though. You get really good um, um, 
ladder combos and stuff. Yeah, I think Falco also is a really good neutral game on this stage as well. Yeah, 100%. It's not like super peach sided, but you just you just have the grab. You just have to be careful of Peach's humongous aerials. Yep. And but there's the grab. That should be the It should stop. be dead. As long as McLeod doesn't drop this. This is one of the easier edge guards. One of the easier chain grabs, I think. Yep. Hey! I've never missed it in my life. Good DI by Kaiser. Realizing that the is going to come out. Oh, it and misses he makes the... it back, actually. This I... could be a chance to get I don't know if McLeod's like, errors didn't come out. Okay. There's the fade back forward air, and that catches Kaiser. McLeod really likes his um, double jump backwards and fade. Back yeah. Like they they cover a lot of space and you can't really approach against it because it's just so fast. You kind of have to just wait it out. Nice. That's it's one like thing he definitely space. implements well is like doing different floats and stuff. He like make, he mixes up like the double. He uses, uses double jumps and hyper floats and things to mix up like where he's approaching from. Yes, he's actually been implementing the hyper floats a lot. Just the other day he was discussing about using hyper float up air out of shield. Yeah. And how uh, advantage. I don't. I just shield. I just mash the button. Don't worry about it, like. Yeah. Just that. Uh, Hold down out of shield and press down smash, that's yeah. what I do. Seems to work a little bit. And without yeah. running away with this game. Yeah, let me just... This is understandable. It's his counter pick on FD. Kaiser's Kaiser strong point is more of his platform movement. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Platform mix up, so... It's, it's, um, it's reasonable to expect this. He isn't getting the massive ladder combos you need in this stage. Exactly. He's not winning. Like, he should win neutral more as Falco, but it doesn't seem like he is. It's very hard because the punish game is just so yeah. much in Peach's favor. Yeah, you've got to be scared of the grab. He knows oh, and gets the weak up there. I don't know why that hitbox exists, but it does. Worked out. Gets the stop. McLeod looking for any sort of opening here. One dash attack, one grab, one back air. So Obviously, with Peach in your head, every trade is in your favor. So. Exactly. Doesn't have to rush. Oh, power shield to death. That was nice. Nice time. One all now, actually. We're expecting McLeod to stay with Peach or switch to Luigi. McLeod. I can't expect anything. I want him to stay Peach, but I have literally no Either idea. By the way, I think Kaiser should take him to Yoshi's. Could be the best stage for against both of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he would have banned it, right? Yeah, I guess I'm assuming you. Oh yeah. Nice. I'm assuming you banned Yoshi's. Probably. If this is a better. That's three. really weird, cause like you get that um the down air and you you think it wouldn't lead to something. Like, Kaiser's is just really looking for these down airs on Peach. He's not being patient at all. He's just shooting him out there, hoping it hits on very very good down there. there yeah, that that's a beautiful stock. McLeod caught floating just a little bit too close to the stage. Guys are playing a very nice vertical game here. This is his strength actually. Yeah. Peach also very weak in the vertical game. Too slow to get up there against Falco's uh, double jump before hop. Guys are realizing this and using it to his full advantage. Guys definitely starting off nice. Yeah, back to neutral. neutral, neutral. Almost gets the stop there. But Cloud needs to find his footing in this game. He's uh, he's kind of getting beaten around by Falco. Yeah, bit. yeah. Really um, unable to find any good openings. Only only trades at this point. He's actually lost out on all of the shield options. He's yeah. getting things um, shined out of them. Great DI by Kaiser. Prevents any follow up from the dash attack. Cloud sneaks in there with a the neutral air. So there, there's his first stop. See if we can find another one. It's Peach though. Yep. You can always get a stop really quickly. This could actually be it right here. Good tech away by Kaiser though. Oh, that's better. Actually gets away from the approach this time. Yeah. Approaches with a up air, it's interesting. Oof. Both Gang to laser gets owned. Yeah, both players kind of just um, putting safe arrows out. They were forward air? Beautiful combo by Kaiser. That, that was, was insane. Really that nice. Was... Double forward air into down air. That was heat. really cool. You don't see that every day. No. This man's incredibly custom. He's got the power shields, but they're not linked too much like last game. Okay. McLeod's gonna look for anything he can get. Any clean hit. This is where you go to the side of the stage and hope for cheese. Yeah. Good edge guard. McLeod gets, you know, one cheese edge guard, one down smash near the ledge. Could. Game could be back to you. Kaiser obviously not gonna let him have it. 
Lays a forward smash, the, the classic. Smash. Good game by Kaiser. Congratulations for moving on. Yeah, and I look really solid in that third game. Card drops down to losers. He'll still have a chance to make it back. Yeah, I don't know. It's always hard with these like counter picks and stuff because like, you, you look so solid in game two, and it's always like you always think if I just went Peach game one, well, what would have happened? Counter picks make a lot of difference in this game as well. Like um. No, you saw McLeod three stock on, on FD. Yeah. After getting two stock on Pokemon Stadium. It's a, it's a very big swing. Sometimes it's it's hard to adapt to different stages very quickly. Okay. Alright, well, Goodbye, I'm playing everyone. now. Bye.